Welcome to Solopreneur Success Strategies and welcome. This is Jane Gardner and welcome to World Domination Wednesday or as I like to call it Solopreneur Success Strategy. Getting to know your customer, getting to know what your customer wants and giving it to your customer. So let's get started. This is Jane Gardner and I work with my husband for the last 20 years in a structural engineering firm in Western Canada. And I went onto the internet about three years ago to uh, help others in their business. And about a year ago, I took a personality development uh, factors model training workshop so that I know who I am and I know who you are. Just kidding. <laughs> so... <laughs> So we'll be talking about traditional versus customer focused selling today. Uh, we looked at it last week, but it was in a slide, so I thought I'd make a template and discuss that further side by side much easier and go over a preview of customers focused selling. But right now I want to give you some offers and I'll just tell you what they are. Uh, you, you have no offer there. <laughs> <laughs> no offer there. I must have taken them off. Yeah, I took all my offers off because they're in the slides. Ooh -hoo. Actually, I don't know if they are, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> my excuse. So let's go and have a look at my training of the day. Who are your customers? Well, everyone is not your customer. <sighs> looks like I've cleared out all my slides today oops <laughs> anyway they're not my customers either their customers are those who want your solution to their problem or they want your solution to fulfill their desire I do have an offer at jgtips.com backslash customer profile where we look at who is your ideal customer and we look at your business we look at how to define your ideal customer profile how to use research to craft your message and tracking tools to measure your success and it's a six-day training with daily emails and training videos sent to you with worksheets and questions for you to answer about yourself and your business to find your customer who will be the easiest to sell to because they want your solution that's at jdtips.com backslash customer profile you can check it out there and there are 3.4 billion people right now on the internet users every day so you have to learn how to attract those who want your solution so who is your customer so let's say we looked at who you knowing who are your ideal customers you know what they want that you can give them you know where to find your ideal customers you know when and how they like to buy so now you have to create the ideal customer experience so you have to figure out what is the features of your business which will be an ideal customer experience for those to come back and buy from you again and again so for those who missed those episodes that i talked about who's your customer and ideal customer experience you can catch up at jgtips.com backslash youtube but now we've been discussing converting your prospects into customers so we have a lady who's a mom who wants to make some money in order to help pay for their expenses while the kids are at school we have a mature lady who's finally decided she wants to do her passion business and we have someone working for someone else who is wanting to get out of the uh, sorry rat race I hope that's not a rude thing to say and start her own business they may be all your customers depending on your product or service and there's a secret to understanding whether a prospect can be your customer and as I mentioned previously I am a consulting resource group associate at CRG they're a personality development uh, assessment uh, business where they de developed a model that helps you understand your own 
buying style, selling style, as well as customers, potential customers buying and selling style, as well as um, looking at your interactions with your family and friends and their personality. It's too long to go into here, but your personal style you are born with, and then uh, you have your culture, your environment, you have your health, you have your emotional anchors, and you have your environmental systems and social teachers, which affect your personality to make you the whole person that you are now. But in the beginning, when you were born, we were all born with four uh, features. And depending on how we are born, and um, they can be a variety of levels of each of the factors in terms of your personal style and it's too much to go into today but according to the personality development factors model each person has these four personal style factors in them they we all have an action uh, behavior we are have interpersonal harmony we also have cognitive analysis feature to our personality and we also have expression and uh, we're effective personality but everyone has them at different levels of each of those um, and with all our life experiences also affecting us to make up our personality however there are traits to the four personal styles which can be detected and with knowledge and training and experience you can adapt to another person's personal style for a better relationship whether it's with your spouse, with your family, or whether it's at work or when you are working with a potential prospect or customer, you can learn how to adapt to their personal style. So let's have a look at what we are is considered the modern um, version of your selling process. And then I have made up a template which compares it to the traditional type of selling. But let's have a look at first, for those on audio, a customer-focused selling process. Today, it's much different than it used to be, what with the internet and being able to have an international audience and be able to sell and buy worldwide. Um, it is becoming more an, of a customer-focused selling proce process. Uh, first of all, um, you receive the information on what is that the person needs. You say hello and um, uh, receive the customer and find out a little bit about them. Then you discover what the customer wants and needs. You confirm the needs and wants of that customer, and hopefully you have the what they need, and you make a presentation to show them that you have the solution to their needs or wants. The customer then purchases, and, and there's a once that's confirmed that you can uh, provide the solution to their needs or wants. And most importantly, the new feature to the customer-focused selling process is that you can follow up and have a long-term relationship with your customer to buy from you again and again because you and the customer have developed a long-term relationship. Now, I've created a, um, a view of what it used to be in terms of selling and what it is now, and hopefully that will clear up a bit of what I was trying to say last week. So in the traditional selling um, uh, version of life, it was always a short-term customer relationship. The uh, seller would try to persuade a customer about their product and give them reasons why they should buy the cart uh, product. Excuse me. I was just thinking about a, for example, a used car salesperson. They, they would then manipulate the customer in order to persuade them as well with certain ideas with dreams with possibilities 
and then they would give him a razzle dazzle presentation that will also persuade and manipulate the customer into um, getting into the idea of actually buying what the uh, seller is selling and they would also use cans uh, presentation spiels that there be given from the uh, owner for example on the information that they should definitely use in order to trigger an action within the customer and then they would overcome objections from the customer and then there would be a power close and I'm sure we've all been involved in power closes when we go to buy a car my apologies but it is a very good analogy metaphor <laughs> so that is usually um, either there's regret by the customer afterwards for having bought or the customer is happy with what they bought but either way there is only a short-term customer relationship and nowadays uh, with the customer being the focus of who you're selling to, you can develop a long-term buyer-seller relationship. For example, you can, of course, approach and welcome your customer, find out a bit about them in terms of their personal life, as well as make a connection with them and find out the needs and wants of the customer and then confirm those are their needs and wants that they are really looking for in terms of maybe they're not telling you what they you need to hear exactly and if the customer has something uh, needs and wants that you can fulfill with a solution then you make a presentation relevant to their needs and wants and depending on the presentation and the customer understanding that the solution is the relevant to their needs and wants then they purchase because they confirm that yes that is a solution to the problem that I am having or that is what I'm looking for so it's a long-term relationship and most importantly there is follow-up so then there is follow-up 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 and a long-term relationship so it's always important to realize that there's a long-term buyer-seller relationship now and that knowing who your customer is can help you be more successful in your selling. So let's just briefly go over that again. I think I mentioned it previously on another show, but let's go over it again. So working with the customer, uh, your personal way of viewing the environment around you and reacting to it is the foundation for your sales style. You have a sales style. I have a sales style. They're all different. Your sales style is unique from others. I like to, to be honest. Well, I mean, I, everybody wants to be honest, but I like to be blunt and just tell you the truth and this is what you need and I am... Then shift your sales or buying style to match your clients, which builds credibility and trust with them. So, for example, if I have someone come to me who is trying to sell me something and they're very loud and they're very, oh, I'm wonderful, I have to try and shift my disbelief and try and listen to them to understand if they really are going to be something, someone that I can buy from for example, as a, if I was um, buying from them. So what are the characteristics of those customers you find easiest to work with? And what are the characteristics of those customers most difficult to work with? And why? Why is it that some people are different, difficult for you to work with and others are easy to work with? If you can answer those questions, then you are going to be able to understand why we all have different buying and selling styles. Do you know this customer, for example, who does this? This customer who gets upset when you're too focused on closing the sale and he gets upset when you're not interested in them personally? 
that you just very direct and uh, don't ask them even how they're doing or ask them what the name of the child is with them, for example, if they come into your store. Well, that's a different customer than from a customer who gets upset, who wants you to not interrupt them when they are speaking, or wants you to give them detailed information or specs on the product that you are trying to sell them. Well, that's certainly a different customer than one who wants you to help them with the decision and wants you to be kind and thoughtful and ask them how they're doing and say how that And then there's a customer who wants you to summarize the facts and lay out the big picture rather than a detail. Or they want you to respect their judgment as to why they came in and why they wanted what you are selling. There are four different buying styles of which each of us have one more dominant in our personality than someone else and detecting a person's buying style you can you can be more successful as a salesperson with training and of course I have training you and your sales style at HTTP colon backslash backslash JG tips.com backslash P style we have a look at figuring out what your buying style is what your sales style is as well as finding out what different ways people buy and sell and looking at customer focused selling and understanding credibility and how people knowing liking and trust you helps you in your selling identifying your preferred selling style determining your customers buying style and then creating action plans on how to be able to detect what a buying style is or the sales style is of someone that you meet and being able to shift your style in order to meet with them. So, for example, I don't like shopping at all. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and when I go into a store, I just want to go in and I already know what I want to get. And I know where it is and I know what model it is. I've done all the research. I've looked at consumer reports and I'm very annoyed if I get there and you try and sell me something else. So there's one customer for you. And I just wanted to say that you would be able to have with the training of you and your sales style at jgtips.com backslash p style, you would be able to understand who I am and shift your style in order to sell to me. So I'll leave you with that as a question. Wonder how you could sell to me. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> we'll probably do another one on sales style. I look at maybe try and do a few scenarios on selling and buying and try and make you understand that there is a way that you can be more successful at selling and you just have to be able to uh, learn some of these techniques and trainings to understand other people. In the end, it's a matter of listening and understanding that others are different from you. And I hope that is something for you to think about and that you'll have a look at my course there. Because I find that it has been uh, life-changing to be able to understand my person personal style as well as my buying and selling style and not making judgments of myself or others, as well as having a better relationship with my husband who is a different um, person obviously than me but also a different personal style and being able to adapt to uh, each other so let's uh, do some more next week thank you for listening this is Jane Gardner at jane-gardner.com and go and have a look at my programs at jgtips.com backslash programs